Hi again guys, welcome back to Southpaw MMA. Uh, today's video I'm going to be running over the top three strikes for Southpaw. And this will be the top three strikes for Southpaw versus Orthodox. So the reverse of these three strikes will be uh, the best strikes for an Orthodox versus a Southpaw. Okay, uh, without further ado, let's get straight into it with the most important strike for Southpaw. Here's my doggo. Alright, uh, the most important strike for Southpaw. You probably guess. Okay, let's imagine on an Orthodox, you have to always think of like this when you're uh, a Southpaw. So, on here in Orthodox, you can see where the space is. So the space is around here and the space is through here. So how can we, what, what strikes are going to go kind of through this way or what are going to come around this way or onto this way. So the first strike is going to be a uh, cross. So a cross is coming from around here and it's coming this direction. So it's coming straight onto the chin or straight onto the body. So make sure you're throwing this to the, throwing this up top, but also throwing it to the body, and set this. You, you when you're throwing this, you can a lot of the time step out and throw it, and at the same time get your head off the center line. And doing this, you're getting your foot to the outside. You can even step with both feet, or you can just lean. And come back so yeah that's the first strike so up to the body or sorry up to the head and straight onto the sternum so it's their sternum will, will be pointed out direct that direction so it's a perfect one to nail the sternum and it's really really easy to land to the body so it's almost better to the body than to the face but it's great for both so yeah that's the first strike uh the second best strike Remember, let's look again. Where's the space? Space is around here. So the best, second best strike, well not second best, but another great strike for a southpaw, it's a right hook. So if you're orthodox, obviously, if it's orthodox versus a southpaw, it's going to be left hook. But anyway, uh, let's imagine your southpaw versus orthodox. So it's, it's going to be your right hook, and that will come over the top here. So this is my favourite strike, and... That's the left roundhouse. So the left roundhouse, say I'm an orthodox fighter, your shin is going to be coming at the perfect angle onto, like your shin, the force is going to go directly impact onto their body, which is facing towards the way your shin will land. So your shin will land at that kind of angle, if you see what I mean. And then their body is going to be at this kind of angle to the shin it's going to go straight through so again it's kind of similar to that as, as in the fact that you're not coming like if i throw a jab to the body uh set bob versus orthodox so a jab's going to be coming from over here so it's not going to be coming straight on onto the body like a, a straight wheel so whenever you're going straight onto something the force is going directly onto their body it's going to be a lot more powerful, a lot more painful and devastating. So that's why the right kick isn't as effective as the left kick uh, against something like that because their body is facing the right way. So that's pretty much why. So in that same sense, other good kicks for a southpaw or other good leg strikes is yeah, your teep, your left teep. But your right teep isn't great because if you think about it, uh, so I'm an orthodox and you're a southpaw, you're kicking with your right leg, you're going to be kicking here which is a bit of a, it's difficult to land on, it's a very small surface area if you got to try and go directly on. A lot of the time you'll kind of hit here and you'll brush off and the force of the impact isn't really going to hurt anyone. So you have a very small surface area to kick but if you're kicking with your left foot, you're coming kind of, kind of from this direction where I'm where my body's pointing so you have all this space to land on and you're not going to slip off so easily you know what i mean so yeah that's the next one boom 
and then the final one for today is your left knee so yeah there was only one right handed strike uh, but yeah the, they're kind of the, all the best strikes come, are going to kind of come from your left side but I still throw a lot of right legged and right handed uh, strikes anyway because they're setups and you, there's still a, a good few great strikes uh, I, I'll give you one more uh, right handed strike after this so yeah the next strike is the left knee so you want to do a left and a long knee so you set it up with anything up here and you want to come in and throw a left and long knee and again the right knee isn't really going to land in the same for the same reason as the teeth wouldn't be great so yeah so left knee boom that's gonna come smack them there and yeah i promise one more strike so that's going to be the lead right uppercut so again so imagine you're i'm here i'm orthodox and you're the southpaw you're trying to come through here a jab isn't really going to work but the right uppercut can kind of come in through there and come up onto the chin this is another nice one and you can follow up with whatever so right hook and right uppercut are the two best right-handed strikes jabs aren't great um yeah uh, i'll go through some more advanced strikes later and i'll also talk about the the best combos for a southpaw in the next video so i hope you enjoyed this video uh, Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.